Yes, it's been a very uh, busy three months for NewSat and uh, you would expect it to be busy because we're undertaking um, a, a fantastic project for our shareholders and uh, that has many components to it. Uh, not the least as the funding mechanisms for the project. Um, I've been in London, I've been in New York and I've been in Washington recently. I've been working with the major funds um, in New York and London, appraising them of uh, NewSet's progress uh, in uh, its quest to launch Jabiru One. And uh, I've also spent time in Washington with our satellite vendors, um, more particularly Lockheed Martin, who are building our satellite, and uh, also Ariane Spass, who are launching the satellite. It's a significant achievement for NewSat to be named as a top three independent teleporter operator. And by independent teleport operator, it means that we are regarded by our peers and our customers as providing extraordinary service levels. And there are 1,700 teleports in the world, so to be in the top three speaks volumes for A, the people that run our teleports, and B, for the way that we maintain our teleports. Recently, uh, NewSat was invited to participate in ASX roadshows in New York and London. In fact, NewSat was the smallest company that was invited to um, present and 80% of those companies presenting were in the oil, gas and mining space. Uh, NewSat um, was extremely well represented and the sessions in which NewSat presented were extremely well attended. The results of those presentations generated enormous interest in the fund management communities in New York and in London and certainly gave NewSat much heart in terms of what the financial communities internationally thought about a space project. So whilst in Australia we have um, great knowledge about mining projects, there is not a lot of knowledge about space. That's why the opportunity to present in London and in New York under the imprimatur of the ASX is very good because it's those parts of the world that understand satellite and space. Recently, uh, NewSat engaged in a signing ceremony with Ariane Spass and more particularly with Ariane Spass's President and CEO Jean-Yves Legal. Um, that was a very significant event. They treated it particularly importantly, and in the uh, in, in, in the speeches made by both the French and the French were represented by the French ambassador as well. Um, it was quite evident that they treated the signing as being significant for France. Um, the launch vehicle um, will will. Uh, will take off from French Guiana, which is uh, the top of South America, and the launch will occur in 2014. NewSat was very fortunate to work in conjunction with the Australian ambassador um, to the US, uh, former Defence Minister Kim Beasley. And Kim Beasley um, took it on himself to organise an event to promote the good work that NewSat was achieving, uh, not just in Australia, but worldwide. Um, present at that um, function were senior US military personnel, um, high-ranking government officials, um, and very senior members of the American political spectrum. Um, NewSat had the opportunity to um, talk at length about what it was doing um, with the US military and how the slots that NewSat had recently acquired would be able to service the US military in the deployment of multiple satellites in the region. And I think that uh, full marks to uh, the ambassador. There was a, an outstanding event and it was very good for NewSat because we were able to enhance our profile uh, in the US.
New SAD is very, very highly regarded. So for a small Australian company, um, we punch well above our weight. But in space circles, people understand what it is that New SAD has and why New SAD has an advantage. And there are few companies in the world at the moment with eight virgin slots. And those slots are able to accommodate a number of satellites, perhaps up to 16 satellites. Um, we are using a particularly high powered band um, to broadcast into, and that's KA band. And to put that into perspective, um, satellites operating in KU band would require five satellites to be the equivalent of one new sat KA band satellite. So you can do the math on that. So in short, new sat's highly regarded. Am I surprised that we were listed um, in the presence of the great companies such as Orbital and SpaceX? No, I'm not surprised because at all of the functions and at all of the forums that NewSat attends, it is quite evident to me and to the space world in general that NewSat will be a force to be reckoned with. The recent signing of the $32 million contract for NewSat was to provide some services over Saudi Arabia. Um, it's for a client who does not wish to be named and that is quite normal in that part of the world. So having said that, that takes the quantum of contracts to over 550 million. NewSat has a very strong pipeline and that pipeline is and it comprises customers essentially from the Middle East, Africa and the US. Every single week we have more and more demand for the space that NewSat has under the control of the slots that it now owns. So we would see the need for new SAT services increasing on a monthly basis. As you know, we continue to run a very profitable day-to-day -day business. And I think that we've just recorded our 15th quarter of record growth in that business. So the combination of regular business plus the pipeline that we have for new business leaves me no doubt that NewSat's position going forward is extremely strong and healthy.